Well, like I said in the last video, um, quite a while ago now, there's going to be more and more of like my guitar and other kind of projects on this channel. We'll still always have the car stuff, but uh, I've got other hobbies too. So this is one of those videos where I got a kit guitar from Fretwire. They have some pretty cool variety of kits and put in a TV Jones wiring harness, which is the kind of top dollar, top of the line sort of stuff for uh, rockabilly, whole body style guitars. TV Jones has a lot of different stuff. Uh, really expensive pickups that are nice that I didn't get. <laughs> this is just kind of a breakdown of the, me learning how to put the wiring harness in. I didn't know what I was doing and could have done something wrong, but this is just how I did it. In the uh, description below, I'll try to put links to everything that I can find that I actually bought or used in this video so that you can uh, exactly replicate what I did if you want or just know where to find a specific thing that I have that you don't. So if you have any questions or if I miss anything in that regard, just leave a comment and I'll try and answer it. Okay, so what I've got here is the uh, Fretwire Rockabilly Hollow Body Kit. It's like $220. It's a base wood body with a maple veneer. I just ended up flat black over the top of it and then some matte clear. So I'm gonna, this is gonna be my keeper. I'm gonna bang it around a lot. First thing I did was throw away all the hardware and electronics. So I've got the locking tuners, put a little bit of a walnut veneer up here on the headstock, made a Walmart, walnut uh, pick guard, got some takeoff, I think Broadtron Gretsch pickups that I'm dropping in here, roller bridge, I picked up a used Bigsby I'm going to put on here, just have me a nice rockabilly machine. Like I said, the first thing I did was throw away the stock electronics and hardware, and I ordered a TV Jones tone switch wiring harness for this. So I got two holes down here, one hole here, and then two holes here. So initially I thought I'd have individual pickup volume controls here, master volume, tone, and a selector switch. They didn't have a pre-made kit like that though, and what they suggested to me was the tone switch option, where you have two individual volume controls for the pickups, a master volume, pickup selector switch, and a tone switch where you just change the tone to three different settings on a switch. What I don't know is how much I'm going to have to ream these holes out for these uh, new components because I'm pretty sure what they sent with this kit was the cheapest Chinese kind of metric stuff you can get. TV Jones is going to have the CTS pods and the switchcraft jacks and everything. Also back here, I hollowed out a pretty big hole to put this in instead of just having the jack mounted directly to the wood. I prefer these kind of mounts. So here in just a minute, I'm going to unbox that TV Jones harness, take a look at that and see what the quality workmanship's like doing unboxing on it. And I'm going to see how the switches and pots fit in here. If these holes need enlarged, you never want to use a drill bit because that's when you'll get all kinds of tear out and just ruin everything. You can pick up one of these reaming tools on eBay for just a few bucks if you want to wait for like a month's shipping. It comes with a straight bar to turn it with. I got rid of that and I use this nifty little kind of screwdriver tool here. It's got a little bit more to grab. It's got a little bit more functionality for other things you can do real quick. So let's unbox that TV Jones wiring harness, see what it looks like, and then see how close to fitting these holes it is. This is the installation kit. It comes with these different size tubing for snaking the different components of the wiring harness through the body of the guitar. And dowel rod with a nice little TV Jones logo for, uh, I think this is for getting the uh, output jack maneuvered into place. Switch tips are already installed. Switchcraft jack. CTS pot. With the treble bleed. Tone 
lighting switch. Really just top quality soldering all around. Everything's tidy.
and there we go. Each hole is big enough for these switch rings. Now what we're gonna do is we'll take these pickups out, solder them into the harness, and then figure this kit out. Okay, so I'm by no means the greatest uh, solderer of things, but this is a pretty straightforward operation. Just got some solder. This is the uh, flux that I use. It's really good. Dad kind of taught me the basics of how to do this stuff. I am not a master, but I can get it done. The first thing I'm gonna do is each of these pickups has just the two leads. The bare wire is the ground and the colored wire is the hot side. They were a little bit tinned here, but I'm gonna go ahead and just pre-tin all of these so that it's easier. So I'll just dip them in the flux.
in the world, but that is in there. I'll clean up the flux with uh, some Q-tips with rubbing alcohol, because otherwise over the years they'll start to corrode it, but that's good enough for government work. The bridge.
So I just left out the part where I forgot to take the uh, mounting hardware off of these pots before I snaked them through. So make sure you do that. But once you do, they slip right on.
little bit here. It's getting this output jack. I'm not really sure exactly how they want you to do this. So I'm gonna guess and hopefully get it right. Probably get it wrong the first time. Just gonna shove the skinny end of this dowel over here into the hole. And it comes out right there. So then, I'm just gonna shove it on that end and then see if I can pull it back through that hole. through all of that hopefully you found it helpful um, again down in the comments or not the comments in the description there's uh, links to the different things that I bought and used in this video and like I said sorry can't really do an audio demo I'm out here uh, on the river right now so uh, no amp or anything to plug it into that's just one of the hobbies I do out here when I'm at work for a month is make guitars and fiddle around with stuff like this so there will be more videos like this and you know if you like the guitar stuff keep coming back got some car stuff in the works got some things ordered for the truck so there'll be more truck videos soon anyway thanks for checking it out